What is going on, everybody? It is the Racket Guru here. So today we're going to be reviewing the Yonex 100D for the Percept line. Uh, this one was requested uh, in the comments because they wanted me to compare it to the Fury Armor Pro, uh, the 101 square inch version. Uh, but before we get started, uh, I just want to say that if you don't get a chance to actually hear everything that I'm going to say, or if you want to see some string reviews or any other things like pickleball paddle reviews, I do have another area that'll be in the description. Uh, it's called All Father Racket Sports, where I can put all of my reviews in the areas and you can find them on that website. Without further ado, here's the review. So uh, the Yonex Percept 100D is, it's got some magic in it. And let me tell you why. The extra five grams that it's got on the static weight really adds to the plow through. So you get more effortless power than you did with the Percept 100. Uh, it feels the exact same. It's very similar. Uh, it has a lot of great touch. The swing weight's a tad bit higher. So like I said, it's easier power. Uh, you don't feel like you have to swing as hard and the feel is sensational. I don't know what was different about this particular demo. Uh, it was strung with Proto P6 uh, from tennis only uh, at 53 pounds, which is a string that's kind of similar to, I would say, Lynx Tour in feeling when it when it's broken in. So you do get that really nice, soft, but stable um, feeling. It doesn't feel like a trampoline. It feels like it holds the ball for a little bit and then you can kind of direct it where you want it to go. And like the rest of the Percept line, the specs will be in the description. Uh, it is a little bit stiffer than the hoop. Now from ground strokes, when you're ripping it from the baseline, everything feels great. Everything feels super solid. Uh, I absolutely love the way that this feels. When you're doing uh, the two hander was okay. The forehand is probably my favorite shot uh, for a lot of this film. I'm mean, working on backhands, uh, you know, just because just for just for consistency's sake, trying to revamp it a little bit. Now the forehand super easy, especially if you can get your swing speed up there. The racket works great, produces a lot of great spin. Uh, I do believe that this was an 18 by 19 pattern, so it does feel a little bit more controlled than the normal 100. The 100 had a higher launch angle. This one, however, does not have a very high launch angle, but it does not feel as low as an 18 by 20. Um, it's definitely a very controllable power. It's a very, a very controllable launch angle. And the feel, again, just absolutely sensational from the baseline. The only issue that I really felt with this racket was that it does feel a little more muted than some of the other frames that I tried. Uh, it does feel a little bit more muted than the 100 from the Percept line, but I think it's a nice trade-off given that you know this racket is almost completely perfect in my mind. Now for volleys, super solid on volleys, great touch. It's very, again, very similar. A lot of these rackets from the Percept line, um, if you're playing around with the same head size, is going to be very similar to each other. The only difference is just the string pattern and the weight. Um, this does feel crisper on volleys, more stable on volleys than the 100. If you're looking for anything that's great for um, you know attacking and finishing points up at the net, this racket is a great option. Um, I do think that you really can't go wrong with this racket. I would probably like to go a size up on the grip. This grip was a four and a fourth. Um, and I think that if I had a four and three eighths, I might enjoy it a little bit more because I can squeeze a little bit harder. Um, but overall, great, great racket on volleys. I think that this is actually a better volleying racket than the Percept 97. Now, in comparison to the Fury Armor Pro, this racket is potentially better than the actual, the Armor Pro 101. It has more controllable power. It is a little bit softer on your arm. You can use this for long periods of time and it feels a little bit more maneuverable despite the swing weight being, or despite the balance point being a little bit higher up and towards the hoop on the Percept 100D. Returns, similar story. It actually feels closer to the 97. The sweet spot does feel a tad bit smaller, and that could be because of the 18 by 19 pattern, but it's not super unforgiving, but it will let you know when you're hitting off center for the returns. I 
do think if I had dialed myself in a little bit more, I might have done a whole lot better on returns. There are just a few clips here and there that had to be, you know, fiddled around with. Serving. Spectacular. I mean, you can just do anything as far as serving wise with this racket. You can control the depth of your serve, the angle of your serve, the swinging it through the air is super easy. Not quite as easy as swinging a normal, uh, the other Percept 100. Um, this is because it is just a little bit heavier, but if you can, if you can get your swing speed up there, the kick serves and the flat serves are amazing with this racket. Definitely a huge weapon. This is uh, just some short balls, just so you know you can see what it looks like when I'm ripping the ball, and I am ripping this ball. So, with that being said, I think that the Percept 100D is a spectacular racket for you to choose if you're an attacking player and if you are more of an intermediate to advanced player. I think you'd really enjoy this racket. All right, well, this has been the Racket Guru, guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you.